What's up, Bird Gang? This is your boy, Bry Wolf. Thank you for tuning in to Eagles Real Talk. This is Victory Monday. Yesterday, the Eagles flew to Denver to the Mile High City and took care of business versus Teddy Bridgewater and company. They were able to shut down Teddy Bridgewater basically the whole game. You know, they had a good second quarter. I think they put up 10, 10 points in the second quarter, but besides that, you know, the defense held strong. Jonathan Gannon came with the, the game plan to completely neutralize their running backs and their offense in total. And, you know, we just took care of business today. I, I was uh, happy to see Slay, you know, come through with that scoop and score, that shimmy to the end zone, you know, just to put, you know, his stamp on the game. He's just been killing it over the past few weeks. Um, but the defense came to play. I have nothing else to say, but great job from the defense. My one, my one bone to pick is obviously with Derek Barnett. The guy just can't, he just can't play a clean game, you know? I even see other things that he could get penalized in the game. He just totes that line all game where it's like, man, you, you, you just come off as a dirty player. But I digress. I don't want to talk too much about Derek Barnett. Today is Victory Monday. Let's take a look at Jalen Hurts' numbers yesterday. Jalen, I tweeted out yesterday, he looked like a general. He was just running the offense superbly he had full he had full command of, of the offense he had 178 yards in the past um, uh, in the past game but with that's that's 16 for 23 you know he was very efficient I've been saying that we haven't been letting him throw the ball enough I think every game he should be throwing between 20 and 30 passes minimum you know those games where he only throws 13 14 passes I feel like that's not a balanced attack and to have him hit on all cylinders you have to roll him out you have to put him in all the positions he likes to you know throw to and yesterday Nick Sirianni a plus man you had a great game plan um, from start to finish the run game the pass game it was great balance and it was just good to see it was good to see a, a team with you know a balanced spreadsheet out there you know it's sometimes it just looks like he's just looking at screen 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 and today you know he was looking at screens passes runs uh, down the middle you know I know there's been a lot of talk that Jalen Hurts doesn't target wide receivers down the middle well he did today um, one other player he went down with the injury I thought he was in in for a big game uh, was Dallas Goddard you know he came through with a few big catches at the beginning of the game but he went down with the head injury so we were unable to see what he could have did with that uh, with that defense yesterday but he was in line for a big game as well but all kudos go to the birthday boy Jalen uh, I'm sorry <laughs> Devontae Smith there's so many Jalen's on this team I can't sometimes I get confused myself but Devontae Smith the slim reaper himself took some souls yesterday um, he had a great catch against uh, his former Alabama teammate Sertain Patrick Sertain they were battling um, all game I think uh, he had six catches on the day Devontae had four catches I'm sorry for 66 yards um, he had that long uh, 36 six yard catch he had he had six targets so that's right around where he's been getting I usually he gets around six to eight targets a game it feels like I would like to see him get you know 10 plus but with that said you know the the team was well balanced Jordan Howard 12 runs for 83 yards Boston Scott 11 runs for 81 yards I mean they were just killing him Jalen Hurts 14 rushes he 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 ran a little bit more than I expected um, on the outside. They did a good job. Their edge rushers did a good job of neutralizing some of his, um, you know, patented runs on the outside. But he still got loose and was able to get 53 yards. So we had a total. We had a total of 214 yards on 40 rushes combined with, you know, Kenny Gainwell. Jalen Rager had a had a negative eight eight yard run. That's another thing, man. I don't. I don't know. Are we in on Jalen Rager? You let me know in the comments. Are, are we still in on Jalen Rager? Are we still giving him a lot of hope going forward? Or are we starting to get down on him? You know, he, he could be a player that, you know, comes and goes, it looks like. He's kind of like, you know, um, what, who can I compare him to? He's kind of like, you know, I wouldn't say JJ Arcega Whiteside, but he's kind of on that line, you know, a second round pick, uh, a first round pick who's not really doing much for us, you know? Today he had um, he had one catch 
you know it's it's just you know it's it's getting to the point where i don't i don't know if jalen reggers ever gonna you know get going like we thought he would but like i said it's victory monday so let's keep it positive today not a lot of bad to say. Uh, the I thought the offense and the defense both played their asses off today. Um, like I said, I think the only downside of the game was some penalties. I thought we kind of fell back into that penalty realm where we were more towards the beginning of the season where we're getting penalties in really tight, important moments. Like I said, Derek Barnett is obviously the main culprit, but other guys on the team um, have been doing that as well. It was good to see Jason Kelsey bounce back. I mean, my heart stopped for a second because if we don't have, I mean, you've seen one snap, it was, you know, a ground ball to, to second basically to hurt. So, you know, we have to, you know, we have to have that continuity, continuity at that center position and Jason Kelsey has been a pillar for this franchise for many, many years. And him and Jalen Hurts have a good report. So I would, you know, I would hate to see him go down. So that was definitely a scary moment. But like Jason Kelsey does, he bounces back like the beast he is. And yeah, the Eagles came up with a big win. I want to uh, know in the comments, are you still in on Jalen Rager? And how do you feel going forward with the Eagles coaching? Do you think they turned a corner? Do you think the defense needs to show more? I still think Gannon needs to show me more personally because he's had a lot of moments where I'm just like, what are we doing out there? What, what kind of formation are we running right now? So we'll have to see this defense play against a good quarterback next week. We play against another backup. We should win next week, by the way, against the Saints. We beat them before. Um, Jalen Hurts had a great game against them last year. Miles Sanders was running all over the field. I think Miles Sanders will be back this this week as well so that's another boost to the offense because if we can get him going with um with the other two guys that have been killing it, Howard and Boston Scott, we could have a three-headed monster throw Kenny Gainwell and this offense looks like we thought it would at the beginning of the season. We just have to take some time, let you know this let this week by week thing go. I can't get too far ahead and predict a whole bunch of wins because this team is a week to week team and this league is a week to week league at this point. So there's a lot of there's a lot of room for us to move up in the standings in that NFC East, especially in the NFC as a whole. I think we could definitely get to that wild card spot. Looks like the Dallas Cowboys are going to win this uh, division but you never know we can make it interesting we have a lot of easy games going forward we play the Giants twice we've also played Washington football team twice what they just lost you know their best player on defense so you know I feel like there's a lot of you know optimism ahead for the Eagles so let's see how we do this is Victory Monday. I'm going to have a good day. I hope you guys do too. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm very close to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing so far. We're going to keep pushing this channel forward. My name is Bri Wolf. Make sure to check out all the other videos we have coming out this week. Tomorrow morning, we'll have the uh, NFL game uh, 11, week 11 preview uh, versus the Saints. So make sure to check that out. That'll be dropping at 9 in the morning, Pacific time. So make sure to check that out. And uh, yeah, let's keep this going, Bird Gang. You know, we got, a, we got a few winnable games ahead. If we can get back to 500, who knows what this team can do. I'm Bry Wolf signing out. Keep it real always.